Good evening. I am Darren Knapp, and I am an assistant professor of practice in the Norton School in the Family Studies and Human Development Program. My background is in marriage and family therapy, and so I am an, an MFT, marriage and family therapist, and I'm going to pitch my big idea, which is that the Norton School should start a marriage and family therapy master's degree program and training clinic. So I am going to start by asking you a question, and I would like you to please, if you can say yes, please raise your hand and keep your hand raised until I let you know. So the question is, do you know an individual, a couple, or a family that is dealing with any of the issues that are listed up here? Okay, look around. That tells me there are a lot of people. You can put your hands down, thank you. <laughs> there are a lot of people who know people that are going through some really tough stuff. That also tells me there are a lot of people who know a lot of people that could be helped by a marriage and family therapist. So I wanna to talk to you about why marriage and family therapy stands out among the core mental health professions in the US. One of the reasons MFTs stand out is because we focus on families. So we really integrate families into our treatment. And that's different from other treatment approaches that focus more on one-on-one -on -one methods. And research indicates that treatment that integrates the family reaches change at faster rates and the change lasts longer than if we use those more traditional one-on-one -on -one therapy approaches. So MFTs are uniquely qualified to support family well-being, which is what the Norton School is all about. So our school is a great place to launch a marriage and family therapy graduate program. We have a couple of reasons I want to review about why this makes sense for Norton. First of all, there is a demand for this program. In the end of summer 2019, me and two colleagues surveyed 210 students, some of whom are current students, some of whom are alumni that have graduated within five years. And we found that there were 153 out of those 210 who were either interested or very interested in applying to an MFT program at the U of A if one were to exist, 105, meaning 50% in the very interested category. Students want this program. Interestingly, we crunched some numbers. After initial startup costs, we only need 10 students per year to make this program financially sustainable on its own. So there's a demand. We're gonna be turning students away. The reason there is a demand is because there are no nationally accredited marriage and family therapy programs in the state of Arizona. So if we were to launch ours, we would be the first nationally accredited program in the state. There are also none in New Mexico. So what's happening is our undergrads have to leave the state, get a degree in MFT, and then come back to practice in Southern Arizona why not make Norton a place where they can do both at once? Also, we can make our program very distinctive. So in addition to having this national kind of spotlight, if we're to get national accreditation, we have some unique ways that the MFT program can be set apart on the local and national stage. First, we can offer interdisciplinary training where we combine with the personal family financial program to offer MFTs training in financial counseling and offer financial planners training in family counseling. We can also focus on Spanish speaking training. There's a shortage of Spanish speaking clinicians to serve Spanish speaking families. That's an important members of our community. We're an HSI as an institution and we need to launch Spanish speaking clinicians to reach families in their own languages. And lastly, we can provide an on-site clinic here on campus that's community-based. So our students in training will be therapists for families in the community. This is a great way to make their training environment. We make the classroom the therapy room. They get hands-on training from day one. In addition, our students can't charge very much because they're not licensed. So we can provide high quality but low cost services to families who would not otherwise be able to afford mental health treatment. So this is a really important part is reaching out to those marginalized families who are underserved and unable to afford services. This is very doable at the Norton School. We already have connections with faculty on family studies and human development, which is how MFT programs are often run in other programs. They're sisters to FSHD programs. We already have faculty with MFT backgrounds. We already have our building here that we could easily adapt and remodel to have some clinical spaces. We already also have researchers from Extension and from our core research faculty that look at ways individual, couple, and family relationships can be improved and have this well-being 
especially among marginalized groups, which ties right into our idea, our idea of being able to offer services to families who really need it. We also are, have support from community clinicians. I surveyed about 30 MFTs who work in Southern Arizona. All of them are hugely in favor of this program and have identified that they would like to be participating as mentors for graduate students, potentially adjunct faculty, and they would allow our students to make clinical internships on site in their own clinics. What's this going to take? It's going to take some money, like any new program does, and we need that money so that we can have a great clinical facility. We need that money so we can hire faculty and staff to run the clinic and train our students. We need top-notch clinical equipment, like video recording equipment, case management software, so that our students are marketable when they graduate. We need marketing, not only for the prospective program, but also for the clinic itself, so it can reach families who need our services. And lastly, we need spirit. That's why this is a great place for the Norton School, because we are a family here, and I know that I won't have to do this alone, even though I have a lot of passion for MFT, maybe enough to fill up the room. I won't have to do this by myself because I work at the Norton School. So in sum, we can do this because there's demand for the program. We can make this program distinctive locally and nationally, and we can do it. We already have the stage set for success. So I want to circle back to that program, that question I asked at the beginning about how many of you know families who need our services. So we know a lot. So if we really want to make a difference to families in Southern Arizona and beyond, then we need to start a marriage and family therapy program and training clinic at the Norton School. Thank you.